getting started, you're gonna need a standard sewing machine, and we're gonna be using a Singer Heavy Duty. Then you're gonna need your fabric, and we're gonna be using a knit, and this is super stretchy, and I recommend using a fabric that is very stretchy and pretty thin. And if you have trouble finding anything, we put links in the description for everything that we use. And the pattern is available at properfitclothing.com. It's super easy to use. All you have to do is print it off and cut it out. Getting started, go ahead and take that panel, lay it on your fabric, trace around it, and cut out two. And to really get that bape look, you're going to want to get a twin needle and a double fold bias tape binder. And as you can see, we just taped one on from Industrial Machine. We, you can get them for the domestics, but we didn't have one. So we just taped one on and it worked great. And this is the twin needle. You can get these pretty much anywhere. We have links in the description for all this stuff if you're looking for it. And it's super easy to set up. All you have to do is take your needle out, replace it with the twin needle, and then thread two spools of thread in the same exact thread path. And you can use this twin needle for so many different applications. So keep in mind, it's a good investment to have one of these around it. And what you're gonna wanna do is set it at zigzag stitch and you can put it at whatever length you want. We're using four and then width zero. And depending on the size bias tape binder you have, you're gonna wanna go ahead and cut out bias tape strips. And all this is is just cutting out fabric on the bias. And we're gonna have one small one and one long one to go all the way around the outside. So go ahead and take your two mask panels and put them together and what you're going to do is just bias tape both of the sides. Now take your long piece of bias tape and we're gonna go all the way around the outside and then extend it for the ears. I recommend starting on the bottom and going across the entire bottom. And once you get to the edge, just keep going. Keep going all the way out about seven to eight inches. And then spin it around to the top and loop it back in your binder. And then continue all the way across the top. And then when you get to the end, go ahead and go all the way out again about seven to eight inches and then don't connect it at the bottom. And then all you have to do now is just connect that with the regular straight stitch. And I recommend going back and forth a few times to really secure in that stitch. And one last thing, we're going to show you a quick way to brand it. These are just printer iron-on sheets and that you can find them anywhere, pretty much at any store. We also have a link in the description, but all you have to do is print out your design and iron it on. It's super simple and they actually turn out pretty good depending on what fabric you're using and how hot it is. The one in this video doesn't turn out the greatest because I didn't have the heat up high enough. So a lot of the adhesive came off with it, but I have tested it before and they do turn out really well on all sorts of fabrics. And there you have a super simple way to make your own bait mask. And there are so many different patterns and fabrics to use. Go ahead and get creative with it and tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see what you come up with. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you think. If you have any other ideas that you want to see us do, definitely send them our way and we'll try to make it happen for you. But until then, we're going to keep the videos coming at you. So we'll see you next time.